Welcome back to the King K Way TV. It's me, King K, and I'm here today to give you guys a review over Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13, episode 10. I do feel like this episode was really, really good. The show is finally getting better. We're finally getting some things to talk about. And honestly, this whole show, this whole episode was a goddamn key. So let's hop right into it, okay? Um the girls, you know, they're they're at the house. They're supposed to be changing into their looks. We see Bolo in the fake Chanel. I'm dead. Um, um, they do a little skit, and you know how it, uh, Candy's acting like she's the madam, and uh, no, she's the mistress, and you know what she say is what goes, and it's totally not anything that Candy isn't used to. So, the whole time that this whole mistress, madam, listen to what I say thing is going on, I'm like, Candy is totally enjoying this. Um, and this is something that, you know, Candy thoroughly enjoys. And overall, I enjoy Candy getting into character and having a fun time. Because one thing about it, I feel like Candy was very loyal throughout this entire episode with that, like without spilling the beans and doing too much. Because at the end of the day, who really gives a fuck? It's a girl's trip. If your bitch want to get her some dick, let her get her some dick. If she want to lick a little pussy every now and then, uh, 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 then let her. Like I just kind of feel like it's just it was a little weird and childish what Kenya was trying to do. Um, but I was loving Candy's energy throughout the entire fucking episode, okay? Um, I love the skit. I love the skit. And we see that somebody done low-key fucked the stripper, okay? So that's what we get into this episode. Um, I think all the ladies look really, really cute in their dungeon outfits. Cynthia is just clueless, Candy said, but that's not anything that Cynthia never is. <laughs> Pretty much saying that Cynthia is always clueless and that totally totally gagged me because i'm like i thought candy and cynthia was cool now is that shade shay or was that shay because cynthia is totally clueless a lot of times so she was totally clueless that kenya was coming down to her seagram's event but who knows um Portia said that, you know, she's happy that everybody is, like, not wearing masks because she needs to see mouth. Hey, hey, hey. I was dead. I said, Portia is a goddamn fool. I love Portia's energy. I love what Portia brings in the green screens and on camera. She's just fun-loving and always ready to have a good time. And that's what we need, period. Um... But I was dead. I do think all the ladies look good. They turning up. They taking shots. They got into character. Every time Candy say something, they say, yes, mistress. <laughs> Baby, it took me out. Like, I'm probably going to watch that whole scene over again because it was honestly so hilarious. And they just kept saying, yes, mistress. They slow. All of them. Um... Um, so Cynthia was surprised. She was shocked. She was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? She's gagging. She couldn't believe that the girls have done this for her and pulled this off. Candy, you know, she's trying real hard to be a niece and not an auntie. And she's like, Cynthia, you're still acting like an auntie. Here's your outfit. And I love how Candy got all of them outfits. And I love how majority of them have on black and silver. I love Kenya's red. But when... Uh, Cynthia came downstairs in that white and when Marlo went and got her ready, helped her get ready, I was like, yes, that's the perfect person to send upstairs to help her get ready. Cynthia looked really, 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 really good. And Cynthia just had a birthday. She's 54 cent now, honey. And we are here for her, Cynthia. Happy birthday. Um, but anyway, overall, the girls are just having a really, 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 really good time. And I'm here for it, okay? Pure poo. Um, <laughs> uh, chocolate souffle is a move that Kenya came up with. So we have chocolate souffle gate. 
That's when Kenya does the ball eagle. Kenya's spreading around. She's on all fours. She's doing her thing. She's, you know, doing a lot. So we're totally, totally, totally gagging. Um, and I literally just can't believe it. Um, but it was nice and good to see Kenya have a good time. And, you know, stop being so annoying and so goddamn, you know, headstrong. And just have a good time, period. Um... Drew threw some shade at Kenya, pretty much saying, girl, if you would do those splits for your man, you wouldn't be in divorce gate. Let's be clear. Give Mark Trey Daly some poom poom. But the word on the curb and the question is, does Mark Trey Daly want the poom poom? Moving on, Tanya Lame, acting like she don't want to have fun. Girl, we all know you a freak ho. Uh, Shamia is fucking hilarious. Shamia just sitting there gagging, having fun. Uh, when she introduced herself to, to, to Cynthia, she said, I am Banana Split. And it was sick. Then I said, yes, Shamia. Bitch, that's how you got that African, that rich African. Let's talk about it. Um, Like I mentioned earlier, I love the yes, mistress. <laughs> I love that type of shit. I'm into that type of shit. I think that shit is perfectly splendid. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, they put the vibrator um, in Cynthia's panties and Candy has control over it throughout the night. So it's just a lot going on. Juices are flowing and that's just that. Um, and Portia is super excited to see Bolo. Um, 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 you know, Marlo called out the fake Chanel. Marlo said, no, not the fake Chanel. <laughs> But I expect nothing less than, uh, but you know, Marlo, that's a grown bitch. You know, Marlo, Candy, Cynthia, Kenya, they was all pretty much chilling. Tanya, Drew, Toya, uh, Portia, Loki, Shamia, uh, uh, like Cynthia told Kenya down to the pool. Uh, Shamia was just standing in the wings, okay? <laughs> Shamia said, I'm married to a rich African baby. You think I ain't, I ain't finna fumble my bag, child? Shamia, be a smart girl. Be a smart girl. Okay, period. Um, but moving on. Um, um, Bolo comes in. I love how Candy was just giving the bitches the money like her and her, her. Candy wasn't paying no attention. Candy just threw that stike. I said, God damn, Candy. <laughs> yes, mistress. King Kane is here, mistress. Baby, let's be very fucking clear. Let's be very fucking clear. Yes, mistress. And that's just on pure poo. I want the coin. I want the bag. I want the bag. Um, moving on. They tr they tip in and having a good time. And uh, Cynthia ended up giving Bolo four dollars to start off. And Kenya just already being mean and nasty, bad negative energy. Uh, uh, not, 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 I know it's some $3 hoes in here, but, but I don't think Bolo one of them. But anyway, Bolo got a fat ass. Y'all already know that's what I was looking at. Bolo is super, super fine down. However, I'm not really into all that big muscle shit. Like, that's really not my taste. But his lower body was perfectly splendid. Mola got her mask on. Next, we see Portia getting up, tipping him. They make eye contact. Portia rubbing that big ass booty. Oh, his dick, baby. It was just too much going on, honey. Um, next, we see Kenya on the floor doing the spread eagle. One, two, three, four, five spread eagles. Flip flops, back flips, one right after the other. Okay, Chicago, honey. If you haven't watched Chicago the Musical, honey, get into it, honey. That was Miss Velma Kelly from the infamous Cell Block Tango. Okay, that's what Miss Kenya Moore was doing. So, Kenya, did you want to get fucked by Bolo, too? And just mad that Bolo didn't choose you? Girl, bye. Okay, um, 
Next, everybody's talking about bring back Boho. Bring back Boho. The girls are drunk. The girls are tipsy. He's coming back. Portia goes to go get him. And, you know, everybody's like, let's turn off the cameras. Turn off the cameras. The girls want to get freaky deaky nasty. And let's really have a good time. And production ended up leaving. And they was turning cameras and putting tape over cameras. All things that, you know, I would have done. <laughs> It's a girl's trip. Why can't we just have a good time with each other? Why can't we just play without it just getting messy? Like, why can't we just have fun? And I think that was everybody's take on it, except for Auntie Kenya. And it just made her look very old lady-like, and it just wasn't a good look, okay? Uh, Portia was horny, talking about one of you bitches eating me tonight. I said, look at her. That's that, that's that LGB. That Candy says she has, and when she becomes an aggressive lesbian. <laughs> true tea, true tea, true tea. Um, so, um, um, next we see Portia and, 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 and Tanya, I mean, Portia and Toya kissing and locking lips. And so, it's the next morning, we see that Boho, Bolo leaves at 7. Um, Kenya, she's watching, going up and down the stairs, acting like she getting shit, but Noah, she's just trying to peep in and see what's going on. I just think that this is just so messy and just so grandma-like. Like, damn, bitch, go down there and have fun, like, have a kiki, but apparently she was the first one to leave, then it was Cynthia and Marlo, and then Candy, and then Drew, Tanya, Portia, Shamia, and Toya. They stay down there with um, Big Dick Boho. Okay? They stay down there with Big Dick Boho, honey. So, that's the tea I'm getting. Um, so, y'all tell me what time it is. Uh, Drew, I was a little bit surprised that she was down there. But, Drew, I know for facts, Drew didn't let this man fuck. But if Drew want to, you know, shake a little ass and turn up and get drunk and have fun, I don't see that there's anything wrong with it. Like... Kenya was just being judgmental, and I know people like that who just stick around and try to get tea and then just be very judgmental. And it's like, girl, like, have fun. Let your hair down. Like, you're so fucking annoying. Like, period. Um, so, anyways, um, uh, Kenya ends up telling us everything that happened. Latoya and Portia was kissing. The girls are living. Um, um, it's getting very, very messy. Um, apparently, Kenya heard somebody fucking and moaning and you know, Bolo stayed to seven. Now, if he was drunk and having a good time and done made his 4K plus, baby, Bolo had a bag and moved on. I don't blame Bolo. Bitch, I only got my coins too. That's period. Hell, what y'all mean? Um, it was P-Valley in the flesh. Portia and Tanya um, and Toya, they were all on top of each other, stacked in a threesome gate. Cynthia and Drew, they were kiki in the next morning in the room about it, but Drew was trying to make it seem like she wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> Drew, you know you was down there face down, ass up. <laughs> Lambola rubbed that big old piece <laughs> down to your flat bike. <laughs> and have a good time, Drew. I'm here for it. Um, next, we see the girls getting ready for the boat trip. Uh, Marlo, Candy, Drew, and Portia are the only ones going out on the boat. The rest of the girls are tired and through from whoring the night before, and they want to sleep in. Um, Kenya came down already being shady, <laughs> talking about... <laughs> Kenya said she smelled Badussi, booty, dick, and pussy. Y'all know what Badussi is from the infamous, infamous movie, um, How to Be a Player, baby. Baby, baby, I was gagging. Uh, what happens in the dungeon stays in the dungeon. Immediately, Candy is like, King of Chill, like, going on somewhere. And that's when Marlo was like, girl, you got to make these girls sign NDAs because they talk too much. They do too much. So, Marlo, this whole time, knew something was going on. But I feel like Marlo was going to be quiet. I don't think Marlo's going to say anything about it and chime in about it until after she got cool with King and her and King chimed in on it. I feel like if Marlo never would have got cool with Kenya. Um, in the later scene, I don't feel like Marla would have ever spoke on fuck me, fuck me, fuck me gate. And that's just my opinion. Um, so that's just that. Um, I'm candy when they cut to her at the bachelorette party when Bolo was doing his thing and she just got her drink and she just looking and enjoying the moment. Yeah, that's me. Um, Cynthia and Ken, yeah, they talk by the pool. 
Um, Kenya and Cynthia both said that they saw Portia and Latoya and Tanya stacked on the three-way. So, we all know that that's true, real tea. Um, Kenya said she saw Bolo humping Drew. Um, the girls on the bus, you know, while Kenya's throwing shade to them, the girls on the bus to go on a boat ride, they're all giving Kenya her props about she was having fun and having good energy. And she's just reading them in the same moment. Um, Shamia and Tanya, they joined... Uh, they joined Cynthia and Kenya at the pool. And, you know, uh, Toya comes out and it's like Cynthia's, I mean, Kenya's doing this whole bolo court thing. And we all know it wasn't Toya. Toya said she was in her room on Instagram. It wasn't me. Um, and Shamia and Tanya's just like, girl, let it go. Like, it is what it is. Like, this SVU poolside edition is late and don't nobody have time for it. Um... So, they go fishing. Marlo's fishing. They catch a shark. They have fun. Candy and Marlo discuss Kenya and how they just need to move forward. They hold it on to old shit. Um, next, we see Toya's cooking. They're having a crab boil. Marlo from Florida helps her because she said they're having a steam, not a brawl. I'm gagging. Um, Kenya tells Toya and Candy the tea about how she heard something. Toya and Candy are immediately over it. They don't give a fuck, bitch. Like, it was a fun girls' night. Let it go. And Kenya just like, damn, you left your baby for 45 minutes just so you can sit here and hear this shit and listen to these people. Girl, bye, 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 bye. Um, I don't know. I just kind of feel like that's their business. I feel where Candy's coming from. And Kenya just need to talk the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Um, Marlo and Kenya, they have a heart to heart to kind of, you know, clear the air. Cynthia orchestrates it and um, they get into mom gate when Marlo says some really nasty things about Marlo's, I mean, about Kenya's mom. Um, they get into pregnant gate, how, you know, she, Kenya felt hurt by a lot of Marlo's comments. They apologize to each other. They move forward. Um, and before dinner, Kenya and Marlo, they kick key, they key, key about, you know, the fact that they heard sex sounds going on. And, you know, Marlo says she was, you know, it is what it is, you know, but Kenya is just like, girl, excuse me, this is too much. Um, Shamia tells Portia and Tanya about, you know, what Kenya going around saying. And I feel where Portia coming from. I'm like, girl, this that auntie shit. You want some time? I'm not going to give you no time, bitch. I'm not studying you. You childish. You irritate. Let it the fuck go, period. And let's move on. Um, and, you know, Tanya, she's making disparaging comments. So now, Tanya, you know you was turning up and you was kissing and grinding. Like, shut up. Like, I'm, you know you fuck around on the weekends. <laughs> Uh, Latoya lets Portia and them know when they all go in the kitchen and talk about it that she understands the problem with Kenya because Kenya's trying to take their fun time and make it into a problem. And, you know, uh, you know, Portia said that, you know, Latoya got some, a, a, a backbone, a baby back. So we're here for the baby back. And I hope that Toya's able to stand up to Kenya and let her know, bitch, like you're being irritating and you're being annoying, period. Uh, Marlo and Kenya, they show up together. The girls are gagging. Uh, Portia said, here go Kenya being a punk again. You know, no hands. Just, you know, going around talking all this stupid shit. And that's irritating. Portia says she's not going to feed into it. And then when, you know, Marlo and Kenya comes out, you know, Portia's a little taken aback. But at the end of the day, Portia let them be friends. But I really don't want Marlo and Portia to fall out over Kenya and Marlo becoming cool because it's really not that deep. Let them be cool. Honestly, it won't last. We'll see. Um, I wonder how Nene feels about it. Um, can't wait to see some of her infamous pink quotes that she posts on her thing. Um, so now that they ended the episode with church music and what's about to go on, girl, you ain't heard no sex noises. We'll see what's going to go on. We'll talk about it. We'll gag about it. But the show is getting good. Thank you guys so much. That's my review for Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 13, Episode 10. Subscribe to the channel. Become a member. Follow me on all of my social media. Hit the goddamn notification bell. Become a member. Come out to the King Can't Wait TV Spring 21 Fashion Show slash Pop-Up Shop March 14th. The link is also in the description. I love you guys so much. Also, get you a Pira hoodie, especially if you're in Texas, okay? I love you guys. Bye.